Pop and pop pop pow. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Jake's Fifth Fun YouTube channel. And yes, guys, today we're back with episode. Can't remember of the Newcastle Premier Series. And yes, guys, we have got something controversial to talk about. We are coming into the January transfer window, and there, I've been through the squad. There's a lot of contract expiries coming up in a couple of months. Miguel Amaron could be leaving. In, it could be leaving in seven months. Same for Fabian Shaw, Chris Wood, Callum Wilson, Alan Saint Maximum. Um, some some of them have renewed, but some of them we still got to think about and make a decision by January. So, guys, hope you're going to enjoy this video. And smash the like and subscribe to the channel. And let's get into this one. So, guys, I don't think the West Ham game actually played out. I think we still have got to play it, but we will play it in this episode. But to be honest, guys, there's big controversy for me here. He is a great player, but I'm thinking of getting rid of Miguel Amaral next month. He's had 14 appearances, only scored two goals, and only had one assist. So adding him to the transfer list. And um, I wanted to get back up left winger, but I didn't want to spend any money. So we could be loaning in this youngster, Spanish left winger, um, is Marley Garby from PSG. And I would like to get a player like Lucas Moore. He's got the pace. He's an older guy. He's got experience. He don't need to have first team football. He's a backup. Um, so I think it'll be a good deal. But we're definitely going to try and get is Garby here. So we're definitely going to do a loan with an option to buy, just in case he's very good. We're going to do one year. Ah, uh, you know, yeah, we'll do short term just for now, because in the summer we uh, might we might not need him. Do 50-50 on the wages. And his transfer fee will be about five million, can we say? And they say, yeah, five million he'll be if we do buy him. So is Malagabi could be coming in the January transfer window. That could be one of our signings. Guys, I do need to turn my TV down. Uh, oh, voice crack there. As the, obviously, the, as the commentary will be very loud. Um, Team-wise, we definitely need to rotate the teams. So, teams like, players like Callum Wilson, um, Willock will start, uh, Dan Byrne will start, Target will start, uh, Miguel Amaron, one of his last appearances, maybe, is, could be start in this match. Any other good players we can play? Not really. We could put in um, a centre back, but we ain't really got enough. We got the cells. We put the cells in actually. But we'll do that. What oh, we just had Fabian Shaw. I'm so stupid. We'll go back down and get Fabian Shaw. And that's going to be the team, I think. Saint Maximum is going to play. So here we go then. It's Newcastle United. Be West Ham, and it's live. If we were to win this game, we could go eight points clear, I think, West Ham in fifth place, which would be really big for us. The other teams below us would not be able to catch us, and we could stay comfortably in this top five. Obviously, we were in kind of the same position last season, but even well, we're in a better position than we were last season, to be honest, it, at this point in the season. It's heading, it's heading play here. There we go, cross between for Newcastle again. West Ham had nothing so far in 26 minutes. West Ham, obviously, they're having a decent season, ain't they, to be honest? Balmeron! Straight at Ariola, though. That would have been goal of the season. Penalty kick, go. Callum Wilson to take it. He's actually had a decent season as well. Callum Wilson. Saved. For goodness sake, Ariola saved. But we have a solo run. Get in there. Almiron! Oh, just save Mariola! And it's 76. It looks like this is going to be turned out as a draw rate, to be honest. Oh, I didn't really want that. I wanted more than that. It's into the box. Snick Pope collects. And that's it. Full time. Newcastle nil. West Ham United nil. No team wins. But you know what, yeah, it's not a loss, so we take it. But we're just draw merchants this season, to be honest. That's what we kind of have to say. We are just draw merchants. We're always drawing. If we win our next match with Chelsea, Lewis, we can go into fourth place, which I would really take. If we focus on Europa League and the Carabao Cup and we, and we still finish fourth again, I would not be too mad. Man United away is a very hard match, let's just say that. So this match is a very big match for us. And I mean very big. 
We're definitely 100% going out with the main team. United in Newcastle at Old Trafford. What a match it's going to be. It's 53rd. Oh, let's crack there again. We're fifth. United a third. Here we go then. Come on, boys. United finished third last season. Obviously, we finished fourth. So, because they, we had a bit of a scrappy run of form and they did overtake us. And now it's over to Wiss and Ben Yedda. It's just four of goal. It's Wiss and Ben Yedda save from Nick Pope. Like, what a save, actually. It's another United attack here. Come on, boys. United such, such a dangerous team when they can be. Ben Yedda! Saved again, though. Pope's not ready to mount. He's like, yes, another save. If we won, if we won this, it would really dent United's title hopes. Here we go then. A Newcastle United counter attack. This is our chance. Oh, it's on any man away, K. Oh, he ain't gonna get it now, is he? Took him a long time, to, long time to touch it down. It's out though. Can Grimrush win the header? He can, but it's just gonna deflect onto Bruno, on Bruno Fernandez. Oh wow, oh wow, it's Alexander Isaac to take this penalty here. Alexander Isaac, goal, 1-0 Newcastle, 40 minutes, Alexander Isaac with our goal, gets in there, what a strike this man is. That's what we need, 1-0 to us at Old Trafford, if we won at Old Trafford, that would be amazing. I think this time last season, we did lose there. Not this time, but this fixture, we lost here last season, I think. Or did we? Or was it a draw? It was, I think it was a nil-nil draw. No, it was a 1-1, one -one, wasn't it? It was 1-1, one -one. yeah, it was 1-1. One -one. Stupid me, it was 1-1. One -one. We do get it out, though. Cross with United in 53 minutes. United nil, Newcastle 1. Anthony. Another block again from us. We're holding on to this 1-0 here. Can we make it 2 here? We're not even away, okay, though. He's got the pace, let's just say that. Oh. Okay, then. Oh, my days, guys. If we defend it, oh. If we defend this, then we could be getting a massive win over Man United. We have to just defend this here. If we're saying, Ben, yeah, no. no! It's Rashford! Great block! They still have it! Save! And that's it! Full time United nil, Newcastle won, and what a win that is! At the end, we had to hold on tight, but we did come out with the three points, which was the main thing. Get in there, boys! And now, the first leg of the semi finals against West Ham, actually. We are in January, and Elliot Anderson, I think. Oh, he, oh no, he, um, yeah, obviously, Garby joined a six-month loan. Um, good score, he's 6 nine rated. Oh, you dirty little. But yeah, that's, that's a decent signing. Six-month loan. Um, yeah, guys, we're going to be selling Dar Darlow. I don't think he's good enough, to be honest. Like... <laughs> I don't think he works with what we're planning to do here. Garby's going to move on to the bench for now time for St. Maximin. Now time, now we sh what I'm trying to say. What I'm trying to say is that St. Maximin can now show what he's got. Chris Wood has been approached to be bought. Um, definitely going to be resting a bit of the team here. Like Callum Wilson's going to get started. Garby's going to get his debut. Gunry Ash going to get a, going to get a rest. Al Moron's going to get a start. Big start for him in confidence as well, actually. Um, I'm going to give the Bravco a chance as well. We're going to quick spin this against West Ham in the first leg of the EFL Cup semi finals. is a 2 2 draw. Okay, okay. Second leg we will play to try and get to this Carabao Cup final. Remember, we won the FA Cup last year. And now we're playing our, our first game in it. No, oh, man. Spurs have approached Al Moron. Okay, well that means we're signing Lucas Moore and getting there, right? You know, it was guys. I'm just gonna let. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna let Almiron go on a free, to be honest. There won't be a lot of 
Oh, he's, he, Milan also won him as well. So Milan or Spurs, we're, we're not going to do anything for him. I'll just let him get what he wants, to be honest. That's the best thing to do. I love him as a player. He's a great guy. But it is best we do let the man go. We, it's best for him as well to boost his levels. We're, we're going to play against Tranmere here. Let's see what we can do. Oh, wow. We didn't even win. It was a 2 2 draw. Okay, well, we're struggling in the FA Cup already, which is the tournament we won last season, which would be Liverpool in the final, 1 0. And look who it is, our first game coming up. It is Liverpool. We were just. Oh, voice crack. No, we were, I, I don't know why I'm voice cracking too much now. And look who's leaving. He, I don't think he's leaving yet, though. He will be going to AC Milan in the summer for nothing. So Le Miguel Amaron will be leaving. They are staying, right? I think they're staying. If they're staying, bro, we need to get oh, another voice crack. I was going to say, yeah, they are still staying for the rest of the um, season. But I'm resting the team massively here. I'm sorry, but we need to rest people. I want people fit for this game against um, Liverpool coming up. If I've been, oh, if I've been shot there, there he is. I was like, where the flip is he? Matt Target definitely getting in the squad here. Um, oh, yeah, I'm just going to have to play a team like that, to be honest. Please, boys, come on. Oh my god. Tramir Rovers have not snoocast by the FA Cup. You know what, yeah. Fair play. Fair play to them. Just well done in general. They deserved it. They got what they deserved. We're at the FA Cup. We're not winning the FA Cup this year. Which means that get that lets us focus on other competitions now. We won't win. We won't win the trophy this year. But don't put your hopes down yet. We've got other competitions to go still. It's not like we're out. It's not like our season's finished. We have still got a lot of the season to go. We are planning Europa League, which is confident. Obviously, not what we intentionally wanted from obviously dropping down from the Champions League. But we still got Europa League football to play. We still got a chance at a European trophy. We're still playing European football, which cements us, cements us as a good club. But here we go, the Newcastle Liverpool, Liverpool, who are top of the Premier League, be fifth place Newcastle. Come on, then, boys. Gotta get it out here. Louis Diaz blocked. Free kick for Liverpool in 22 minutes. Still nil nil. If we got a draw against Liverpool, I would take it. Tack tack it. Take it. Canate. Just gotta try and defend this one here. There's white and black shirts everywhere. Dan Berman the good defending. Coming in for fitness reasons. He's doing a good job so far against the league, league leaders. Valverde. Dan Berg getting away with his tall head though. Hold up. So many guys, just a postman came. I was just, I just went to put something from my door. Don't know what it was. But Mo Salah over the bar. And now finally we're getting an attack. Finally. Finally. Oh, but Robertson great defending though. Another free kick level. Not it's been not really a great game to be honest. I'm just to be honest here. It's been a bit of a sloppy game. Mo Salah to take this free kick. He's gonna actually blast it in. We do get it away though. And now a counter attack for us. If we scored, if God, I'm not sure. If we beat the league leaders, 
there's big, there's big chances for us this season. Trying to play a long ball through, but nothing can get on it. And now, a cross between for Newcastle, 80 minutes here. So Maxman trying to run here with pace. Doing well here. We're doing well. Oh, just defended. And now, just to hold on to a draw against Liverpool. Valverde. Pushing, pushing that goal. Federico Valverde. Get it away, get it away. And that is full time. Newcastle nil, Liverpool nil. We get a draw against the league leaders is what we needed. We are, it does show you we can be a dominant team. Spurs beat City, that is massive. So we don't really mind Liverpool because they're still getting a point. And guys, with that draw, I don't know about Chelsea. We'll just have to see quick. Ooh, 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 ooh I like this. Yeah, guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna accept it. The Bradford can leave if he wants to. I'm not gonna force him. I don't mind if he leaves. But guys, if we look at it, Chelsea they did lose. So that means we are in fourth place. Let's get in there. We like that. That's where we like to be. Fourth place in the Premier League. And um, we are, we're going to be playing the West Ham game. So don't think we're out. So we're just going to see straight to the West Ham game. Palace in the league. 3-0 win. Let's go. First win of January. We're definitely playing the main team for this. This is such a big fixture for us. In real life, Newcastle have just got to the Carabao Cup final, beating Southampton 3-1 on aggregate. But look at Gumbrich, man. He's such a good player. 88 rated. Look at them stats. He is actually kind of a better defender. I don't know. We, if we could play him CDM, I could probably play him CDM. Because he's a great player. We're going with the main team for this one. 2-2 two, two on aggregate against West Ham. at St James' Park. It's Newcastle, the West Ham, for the third time this episode. And it's live. Let's do this then. Such a big game for us in the Newcastle existence. I know, obviously, we won a trophy last year. But if we'd done a trophy two seasons in a row. And now, playing Alan St. Maximum through. Playing Alan St. Maximum through. Alan St. Maximum. Man away the game, goal! 1-0 Newcastle, 3-2 to Newcastle, now we in 13 minutes. Newcastle, look like they're going to the Carabao Cup final. Let's go, boys. 1-0 to us already. Let's knock the bin dippers out, which I like to call them West Ham, because I'm, I'm a Tottenham fan. No. No, 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 no. What defending? Like the ball though. I don't know why they just didn't say lost the ball. It's Paqueta. Scammer. Great block. We do get it out of play finally. And now another attack for us. Here. But new but St. Max looks cooler there. I don't think he's gonna do a lot of this. Just turns. We've done well there. He's done well, but he thought Isaac was gonna make the run, to be honest. I see what he's doing there. Cross so for us here. 66 minutes, still 1 0 to us. Isaac! 2 0! 4 2 on Agaku! Newcastle are going to the Carabao Cup final! Yes! Come on, boys! Matthias Nunez getting himself a goal as well. It's a party at St James's Park. Full time. Newcastle 3, West Ham 0. Newcastle 5, West Ham 2 on aggregate. And Newcastle United are going to the Carabao Cup final. If that was the trophy we won this season, I wouldn't be too mad. Yes. 
it will, we will be playing Aston Villa in the final. That is winnable. That is winnable. We have taken this trophy serious. West Ham out. Wansey were out in the semi-finals as well. We're going to be quick semi against Leeds United. 4-1 win. That is very nice. But guys, this is where we are going to end the episode off. Thank you for watching. It's been nice to record. I will sign Luke more off camera and um, we'll do that. So thanks for watching and see you guys later. Bye bye guys.